Hi there, today I'm gonna to show you how to get Formula One data into a Google Sheet using an API. The first thing you need to do is pick a Formula One API. For this example, I'm gonna use a Formula One API that's hosted on rapidapi.com, but you're free to use any Formula One API that you wish. So let's go to this Formula One API. If you have not already subscribed to the free plan, go ahead and go to the pricing tab and subscribe to the zero per, $0 per month plan, or you can even subscribe to a paid plan if you wish for this API. Once you're done subscribing, go to the endpoints tab and here where it says Node.js, go ahead and switch that to shell curl just for easy uh, so we can easily view what we need to enter into Epiphany. So with that said, let me bring you over to the spreadsheet. And if you have not already installed the Epiphany add-on, go ahead and click add-ons, get add-ons, search for Epiphany, A-P-I, P-H-E-N-Y, and install it before proceeding with the next step. So once you have the Epiphany add-on installed, you'll see it here in your extensions menu in your Google Sheet. Go ahead and click on Epiphany and then Import API. So once the Epiphany add-on loads, we're going to come back to our Rapid API um, and then we're going to look for our API URL. And you can see here it says URL HTTPS API Formula One dot rapidapi.com slash seasons. And the reason it says seasons at the end is because we're in the seasons endpoint and that'll get the seasons data for us which right here is described as get all seasons available the next endpoint available is to get a list of available time zones to be used in the races endpoint and you can see the difference in the url here is that it says slash time zone at the end we also have more endpoints like circuits we can get the list of available circuits we can get the list of available competitions, we can get the list of available drivers, uh, starting grid for a race, ranking of the fastest laps for a race, teams rankings for a season, get the rankings for a race, get the drivers rankings for a season, as well as get the list of available races for a competition, get the list of, all, get the list of available competitions, and a few other endpoints down here for um, competitions and pit stops as well. So let's go ahead and just click on a random one, which is get starting grid rankings. So here in the URL, uh, we can see it says slash ranking slash starting grid race 50. So let's go ahead and copy that. And then in Epiphany, we're gonna paste that into our API URL. And the next two things we need to enter are headers. And you can see here, the first header is X rapid API host. So in the header section of Epiphany, I'm going to add two headers. The first one is X Rapid API host. The second one is X Rapid API key. I'm going to enter that here. And we also need to enter the values or the, uh, yeah, the values. So that's the first value. And this is the second value. So once we've entered our header keys and values, as well as our API URL into Epiphany, we can try running our request. So let's go ahead and click run. Perfect. So you can see we have gotten the rankings data, which is described as the starting grid for a race, uh, into our Google Sheet using Epiphany, which is an API integrator add-on for Google Sheets, as well as this API Formula One, which is hosted on rapidapi.com which is a marketplace for API. So if you need an API for any type of data, not just Formula One data, you can search Rapid API for those APIs. So once you've successfully connected to one endpoint, in this case, the slash ranking slash starting grid endpoint, we can try making requests with other endpoints like this one. So all we need to do is change the URL, enter it here, and then click run. And you can see that the headers are the same. And that's why I didn't make any changes to the headers. Perfect.